Burn America, how are we doing today? Um, as promised, it's the same day. It's just five minutes later <laughs> from the last video. Uh, the, other, the other day's video was me talking about how we found it and all about that kind of stuff. Today's video is the interior, the walk around the outside, the interior, and the whole thing about it. So it is a 96 Prevo Country Coach La Mirage XL40 on a Prevo chassis. I explained that in the last video. The shell is made by Prevo. Here we go, right here. It's made by Prevo, okay? And Country Coach buys the, ch the shell, takes it to their factory, and builds it out on the inside and builds all the interior all nice. They do all the paint job and the whole nine yards. Um, it's got a beautiful paint scheme on it, and I don't have this thing displayed very well. Let me turn you around here. Yeah, I got the the ladder in the way I've got the ladder there for a reason okay so um, it's uh, it's all stainless steel chassis even up here where the paint is that's stainless steel too um, this is polished stainless steel all the way up to right about right there where the windows are from there it's not polished they just paint it but from here down it's all polished uh, so it has a shiny on the bottom it's got the paint on the top it's got a real nice paint scheme I love the paint scheme it's not it's 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 fancy but not gaudy okay it's got green in it uh i would never thought green would look good but it's a little bit it's just enough to be an accent but it's not over you know it doesn't take over the thing it's all na uh, natural colors you know uh, or, or what do you call them uh, earth tone colors browns and grays or browns and tans and whatnot uh, except for the green what's the green i guess is natural too so um it's got a uh, Detroit 60 Series Detroit uh, motor in it, or Series 60 Detroit motor in it. It looks pretty good. There's a little bit of oil here and there, but I mean, for a 25-year-old coach, and he said he never washed this bay. He, he's never washed the engine ever. So it's in really nice shape. Uh, it's got all, you know, all the new belts and all that kind of stuff, I guess. That's what he was telling me. Um, it's got, it's already got the blue ox hitch for, um, for uh, hauling, oh come on, close. It. You got the blue ox hitch for hauling your car. We're probably probably gonna trade the probably gonna trade the Raptor in for a a, a bus or a, a Jeep. Oh, come on, this is hard to do one-handed. Okay, uh, the only thing I really found so far that doesn't work is those back those fog lights in the back. The backup lights, uh, they don't work. Uh, these backlight lights do, but these are like fog lights for um, for illuminating the area. Um, right in here. Come on. There's your your uh, ch uh, chassis batteries. These are the these are strictly to start the engine. That's all they're for. There's uh, air cleaner and other components. <laughs> Don't really know what's behind here. Don't know. I haven't got that far into it yet. But uh, anyway, that's the engine bay. And. Uh, got all tinted windows you can't you can't see in during the day now at night you can see through it but uh it's all really good tires on it um he said they're about five years old so they're not terribly old uh not, they're not cracked or dry rotted in any way uh these tires actually oh, where's the numbers at 315 80 r 22.5 this is the exact same tire that was on the, the red peat uh, same same tire size. Now this is a Michelin. That's about a nine hundred dollar tire right there. The tires I put on my truck were about six five hundred five hundred fifty I think. Uh, but there's no cracking in them. You know there's usually they start getting cracking in here when they get old. The they're, all the tires look really nice. And uh, so that's the outside of it. It's got mechanical awnings. They're not electric. I didn't want. Every, that's the thing. Let me turn you around here. That's the thing about this it's it's old enough it doesn't have all that technology in it okay the electronic uh, awning that comes out and has the wind sensor that retracts it and the wind comes up it doesn't have all that stuff that stuff can break it doesn't have slides those can break those are the things i like about it it doesn't it, it's beautiful there's a lot of room in it a lot of storage big storage bays underneath just like any other motorhome <clears throat> but it's got uh uh, it doesn't have, this is going to sound silly. It's a Prevo, but it doesn't have the unnecessaries. 
<laughs> it just doesn't sound right. <laughs> if people in the RVs know what I'm talking about, uh, Prevos are known for being the top of the line. But back then, this was top of the line, but it's a mechanical awning. And they they come out, they're all work. He, we put all of them out, they look good. Um, they're not all rotted and dried out and everything, but they're mechanical. You, you, you just, anyway, that's enough of that. <clears throat> you get the idea. Um, let's go inside and I'll show you the inside of it. All right, here's the interior. Coming up the stairwell, there's the driver's seat, here's the passenger seat, and there's the living room. Isn't that pretty? That is beautiful interior. It's all done in a southwestern motif, um, yeah, southwest like Indian style, I guess. Um, it's got the buffalo here. Oh, they, that's not coming up on the camera very well. Anyways, uh, it's a, there's arrows. Starts out as an arrow at the bottom. And it comes up to the top and then it bends. There's two arrows. There's an interior and an exterior. The, the outside one bends out and becomes a mount for a lamp. So it's all real pretty. They design, from what I understand, she designed that herself. The original owner, his uh, wife was a southwest or a, a western art collector. And uh, that is not coming up worth a darn with that backlight. Here's the buffalo cutout. Okay, there you go. There's the buffalo cutout. And then they've got them on all these here. There's four of these. So um, the lampshades are like a rawhide kind of thing with, uh, um, what do you call it, uh, latigo uh, rawhide type stitching. Okay. Uh, there's a buffalo here that she left in. Okay. It's a uh, some artwork she left. Uh, coasters have the the uh, dream catcher kind of thing. I guess that's a dream catcher. Okay. Um, the uh, couch. Is, or the chair is done with the buffalo print and all the Indian Indian blanket design, I guess, is what you'd call this. All right, and then the chairs over here have the same thing, same thing going on. They're actually made like a log cabin furniture, I guess. Just these two chairs, and they got the buffalo design on them. Okay. All right, <clears throat> then on the other side, you got this couch. Oh, yeah. Throw throw a pillow. You got this couch. It's a leather leather couch like a uh, kind of like the seats on a Ford King Ranch pickup they have that that kind of a, a saddle feel to them you know it's real soft leather but it's that same kind of feel I guess um, that's got it they got a throw it's a it's a, just a leather a leather uh, throw blanket whatever and they've got artwork painted on it it's uh, airbrushed on okay and the lights not working with me very well so there's that you got the command center up front there's the TV yep. it's an old tube style TV that will be coming out probably put a flat screen TV up there here's the old stackable stereo the hi-fi system <laughs> uh, VCR uh, stereo tuner dual cassette and uh, uh, 10 CD changer yeah all that stuff um, that will probably be coming out I think I'm just gonna take all that out and leave this as storage for my camera equipment uh, there's a cabinet under there with some electronics in it. Here's all the uh, control panels and everything. There's your battery banks and all. And then over here's the uh, the uh, controls for the... I'll turn them on. And it shows you all the uh, different controls. There's no... The new new uh, um, Prevos and everything ha have like iPads built into the wall. And it's all electronic that way. This is the old push button type stuff. Um, your voltmeters and all that for when you're hooked up to shore power. Okay, here's your generator gauges. Here's your hours, your oil pressure, and your temperature on your generator. Okay, of course it's got a few mirrors. It's got the overhead mirror, you know, uh, and all the the pretty lights, you know. Uh, oak cabinetry. What really sold me on this was this. This is just beautiful. To my eyes, this is gorgeous. These oak cabinets. Um, it's just. It feels more like a home instead of a, a Prevo, you know, New York City house of ill repute. Put it that way. Some little storage up here for frying pans and whatnot. Um, it doesn't have an oven, okay? It has a stove, a stove top, and a microwave convection oven, just like the one I had in the semi. It, it'll, it'll microwave, but it will also get hot inside and cook like brownies and cakes and whatnot, um, just like a regular oven. And then down here is just storage and stuff. So, um, uh, oh, all the Prevos on the inside, uh, all Prevos have this. 
it's a uh, lead crystal uh, glassware. It's it's uh, like a trademark of theirs. Uh, they all have this in some form or another. Okay, the uh, cabinet doors have uh, um, what do they call this um, uh, stained glass, and it's real stained glass, I believe. Okay, it's got the lead on the inside, you know, or the, 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 the texture and everything, so it's real stained glass. Um, your, what do you call it, um, your condiments, you know, your salt and pepper. Oh, that's where the, that's where the, the Slappy Mama will be going. <laughs> so just, you know, um, spice rack, I guess you'd call that. Uh, it's got a dishwasher. Okay, don't know how much I'll use that because we'll probably be boondocking most of the time. We don't want to waste the water. Uh, it's got a resi regular residential refrigerator that runs off AC only. Okay, and there's some more storage up here for like uh, cookie trays or something. And then back into the bathroom. Here's your your fancy old bathroom. Um, here's your sink and toilet, and then here's the shower. And it's a regular residential type shower. And we call it a um, medicine cabinet. And then over here we got three doors. We got glass doors. Now here is a lot of glass here. I, I don't know. It makes the room feel bigger, I guess. That's why they use it. But this is a, a closet. This will probably be my closet where I put all my clothes. Socks and underwear and all that kind of stuff. And then you're hanging up clothes up here. And then, oh, a little tight. Um, this is a, like a utility closet. You can put your, you know, your vacuum cleaner and stuff like that in here. Okay. And then here, washing machine. It's a small uh, washing machine. It's a washer and dryer all in one. It's not a stack of them. It's not a two piece. It's, you, you put your clothes in there and you wash them and then you can also dry them too in the same unit, in, you know, one, one fell swoop. It's small. It can only probably do two pair of jeans at one time. And here's the bathroom or bedroom. Uh, back here in the bedroom, the, like I said, she was an art collector. So she has this, uh, this uh, very dark in this corner, <laughs> but uh, it's a a tomahawk it's actual metal it's been painted and it's got a wood handle with leather uh, uh we call it a um, rawhide wrap and the feathers and all that on there i don't know about all the, the indian stuff with the feathers i don't know there's sim there's symbolic uh symbology there Sim symbology anyway <laughs> there's symbolism that's it there's symbolism in that uh don't know what it is um here's the, the Balances up here have a like Indian uh, Indian blanket design. Okay, all right. Back here's the TV. Uh, actually, the TV's right here. It had a tube style TV, and they took it out because it wasn't working. And they bought this little, real small TV to set in here. They said when you're traveling, set it on the couch or the bed so it doesn't fall and uh, break. Um, back here in the back, you've got <coughs> this is the closet. This will be Pam's closet. Okay, she gets both sides of this. Um, those are extra chairs for, for guests uh, for the dining room. Um, uh, this is all the um, manuals, you know, that came with the with the bus when it was brand new. And uh, repair, all this is uh, repair stuff, uh, service history and all this. Uh, some more paperwork back in there. I haven't had a chance to go through any of that yet. Um, over on this side, you see these uh, accordion folders? That's full of all the different repair stuff anytime they had repairs and this is not just the last owner this is since it was brand new everything that was ever done to this thing is uh, has been documented and I, there's the paperwork in there i haven't had a chance to look through any of that yet here's a uh, dream catcher back here in the back or that's a medicine wheel it says i thought it was a dream catcher anyway um oh one of the neat things okay the the blinds on this thing are just neat as can be okay you pull this just like regular mini blinds you pull this down and they come down and then there's your blackout shade so nobody can see in okay so you pull that down when it gets to the very bottom down here watch what's happening if you keep pulling it it turns internally and lets the sunlight through so you can see out through there it's like a daytime shade and then there's the nighttime shade it's just neat how they designed that it's, it's cloth it's cloth here and cloth there and then these little pieces of, of cloth in the middle and as they as they twist it, it it opens the slats inside how about that was neat so anyway there's the uh the nightshades and then you just pull it like that to pull it back open and all of them work there's i mean everything in this thing seems to work so i'm pretty happy about that the uh windows are me mechanical 
there's not electric motors on them and stuff. You pop this out, you pop that out, and you just push. If you only want it open that far, you fold that over. If you want it open farther, you fold that over. Okay? And then when you're done, it's all mechanical. There's no electric motors to break. So that's one of the things I like about this. It's, it's a very nice coach, but it doesn't have unnecessary stuff that I don't, don't need. Well, I shouldn't say that. I mean, obviously, look at all this. But when it comes to, uh, like, electric motors on things, like the, like the awnings, stuff like that, it just doesn't have that kind of stuff on it. So that's one less thing to break. So, so far, I really like it. I'm pretty happy with it. Time will tell whether it uh, becomes a service nightmare or not. I hope it won't. But, uh, like I said, time will tell on that.